and welcome to Chameleon Pattern. My name is Megan Bess and I'm currently a junior at Arizona State University. I'm in a dual degree program studying animal physiology and behavior and anthropology. I work with Dr. Kevin McGraw and PhD candidate Rusty Ligon to study communication in the veiled chameleon. So just by looking at an image of a chameleon, immediately you can see um, how complex the patterns are across the body and even within an individual. So as you can imagine, quantifying these patterns has been extremely difficult. Luckily, through some recent technological advances in mathematical algorithms and computer programming, um, new methods of pattern quantification have been proposed. So what we did is we looked at two of these proposed methods, uh, granularity analysis and fractal dimension analysis, to see if there were any relationships that could be identified between pattern and contest outcome by using these methods, and also if there were any advantages to using one method over the other. Each method looks at the individual pattern elements that make up a particular body region, um, and that allows us to determine if there indeed is a correlation between pattern and contest outcome. Here you can see one of our own chameleons during a trial in which he is confronted with an opponent. You can immediately notice his lateral compression, um, the brightening, and the expansion of that gular region, that throat area. Um, notice how he orients himself almost perpendicular to his opponent. He's showing off his coloration and his pattern. This is the behavior that led us to believe that there is information conveyed within pattern elements of these chameleons. This study provides the first empirical comparison of the two methods, um, which opens up avenues of research in not just biology and the behavioral sciences, but also to gauge population density in um, urban areas for urban ecologists, and also measuring the dendritic branching of the human nervous system. The possibilities are endless, and also using photography and these methods as a non-invasive alternative allows more data to be collected from one specimen, and that is awesome because it allows for more efficient and ethical research. So if you have any questions, comments, or general interest in these methods or chameleons, please send me a message. I'd be more than happy to converse with you. My email is found on the last page of the slide presentation. Also, I have provided links to our lab websites if you're interested in learning more about our other projects, which are pretty cool. So thank you.